हेलो दिस इज टाइम स्पीड एंड डिस्टेंस लेसन फॉर इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चन ऑन ट्रेन वे ट्रेन लेंथ इज वन ऑफ द पैरामीटर वी हैव टू कंसिडर द ट्रेन लेंथ नाउ दिस दिस कंसेप्ट इज समटाइम्स वेरी कन्फ्यूजिंग फॉर स्टूडेंट्स वेन एवर ए ट्रेन क्रॉस इज ए पर्सन और ए पोल और टू ट्रेन आर क्रॉसिंग ईच अदर इन सेम और अपोजिट डायरेक्शन दिस काइंड ऑफ कंसेप्ट समटाइम इज वेरी वेरी कन्फ्यूजिंग फॉर स्टूडेंट फॉर दिस पर्पज आई हैव टेकन द हेल्प ऑफ यूट्यूब आई विल शो यू इन दिस लेसन सम यूट्यूब वीडियो which will make your concept absolutely clear first concept is that when a train of length x meters crosses a pole or a person same thing distance traveled by train to cross the pole is equal to length of train how let's see a video here i am showing you a video a train now this train has start not starting crossing this pole you can see the pole and a train in the picture now train has not started till this point train has not started crossing the pole now let's see when a train crosses the pole train speed is the normal speed of train now train is now continuing crossing the pole now a very important thing here to understand is that whenever train this train crosses the pole what is the distance traveled by train now you can see that now the train has almost crossed the pole now you can see that whenever train crosses a pole entire length of the train has crossed the pole so it means that the distance traveled by train to cross the pole will be equals to length of the train that's what i have written the distance traveled by train is equals to to cross the pole is equals to length of the train first question i'm going to discuss here is this a train traveling at a speed of 72 km per hour the example that i gave you let's train speed is 72 km per hour i will convert into meter per second because the train is crossing the pole in some seconds so 72 into 5 by 18 meter per second this 20 meter per second that is the speed of the train now train crosses a pole in 30 seconds now what is the length of the train we know that whenever train crosses a pole the distance traveled distance traveled is equals to length of the train distance traveled by train in order to cross a pole or a person is equals to length of train now distance we know that is speed into time speed will be considered as speed of the train that is 20 meter per second time is time to cross the person or pole is 30 seconds so you will get 600 meter 600 meter was the length of your train next is when a train of length x meters this is the length of train i have shown you a train whose length is x meter crosses a platform or a stationary train or a tunnel or bridge all are similar whether train crosses a platform or a stationary train stationary train means standing train tunnel or a bridge of length y meter the distance traveled by train to cross this will be equals to x plus y it means that distance traveled by train will be equals to its own length plus platform length let's see how this is the train now let's say train starting crossing the platform look you can see that the train has started crossing the platform whenever the train will cross the platform train will reach here here the train will cross the platform now you can see that total distance traveled by train is x plus y meter first train crosses the platform length that is y meter then train crosses its own length x meter so whenever a train crosses a platform or a bridge or a tunnel of length y meter train length is x meter distance traveled will be length of train plus length of platform let's solve a question its train speed will be speed is equals to train speed is distance upon time speed is always equals distance upon time whenever train crosses a 100 meter long bridge distance is train length let's say x meter x is the train length plus 100 meter length of bridge time is given to you 30 seconds this is situation number 1 the same train takes 40 seconds to cross 250 meter long bridge the same train with the same speed speed is distance upon time now distance in second case is how much you can consider d1 this is t1 this distance d2 time t2 now d2 distance how much 
टू नाउ सेकेंड केस ट्रेन इज क्रॉसिंग टू फिफ्टी मीटर लॉन्ग ब्रिज नाउ वेन एवर ट्रेन क्रॉस इज ए ब्रिज द डिस्टेंस विल बी एक्स ट्रेन लेंथ प्लस ब्रिज लेंथ टू फिफ्टी मीटर डिवाइडेड बाय दिस टाइम द टाइम इज फोर्टी सेकेंड्स नाउ यू कैन सी दैट स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रेन विल बी सेम इन बोथ द केस बिकॉज दिस ओनली वन ट्रेन नाउ राइट साइड विल ऑल्सो बी इक्वल्स यू कैन सी दैट एक्स प्लस हंड्रेड बाय थर्टी विल बी इक्वल्स टू एक्स प्लस टू फिफ्टी बाय फोर्टी दिस इज थ्री दिस इज फोर क्रोस मल्टीप्लाई फोर एक्स प्लस फोर हंड्रेड इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री एक्स प्लस सेवन फिफ्टी एक्स वुड बी हाउ मच थ्री फिफ्टी इट मीन्स दैट द लेंथ ऑफ द ट्रेन इज थ्री फिफ्टी मीटर्स नंबर द क्वेश्चन सी इज दैट दिस ट्रेन टाइम टेकन बाय दिस ट्रेन टू पास एन इलेक्ट्रिक पोल नाउ यू गोट एक्स एज थ्री फिफ्टी यू कैन कैलकुलेट द स्पीड एक्स यू गोट थ्री फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन आई एम पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ x you will get 350 plus 100 by 30 that is 450 by 30 15 meter per second will be your speed now what the question says that find the time taken by this train to pass an electric pole whenever train crosses a pole the distance travel distance travel by train is equals to length length of the train that is 350 meter when this 350 meter train will cross a pole the distance travel will be 350 meter distance is speed into time so 350 speed of train we know that 50 meter per second time we need to calculate so time will be 350 by 15 that is 370 70, 70 by 3 seconds will be our final answer that is option number 4 shortcut method for second question i am going to explain again so the second situation say that train crosses 250 meter long bridge in 40 seconds now whenever train crosses a bridge length is length of train plus 250 meter that is the total distance covered by train this distance in train covers in 40 second this is given to you first statement say that in 30 seconds train cross 100 meter long bridge it means that x plus 100 meter this distance since the train is covering in 30 seconds now if this distance is x this complete distance is x plus 250 this is x plus 100 this distance so by common sense this distance left this distance this one this one would be how much 150 meter now how much extra time train is taking 150 meter train is covering in by common sense in 10 second because 30 second train is covering x plus 100 40 second x plus 250 so extra 150 meter this 150 meter train is covering in 10 seconds train cover 150 meter in 10 second the speed of train you will simply get 150 by 10 that is 15 meter per second so this question i can easily calculate without writing because x plus 250 train is covering in 40 seconds x plus 100 in 30 second so extra 150 train is covering in 10 seconds so 150 meter train is covering distance in 10 second speed will be distance upon time distance 150 in 10 second 15 meter per second now you got the speed now total distance in this 40 second distance covered by train in 40 seconds distance covered by train in 40 second would be how much speed into time train speed is 15 Time is forty seconds, six hundred meter. The train will cover six hundred meter in forty seconds. Here you will get the length of the train. In forty second, train is covering six hundred meter. But we also know that in forty second, this forty seconds, train is covering how much? X plus two fifty. Train is also covering X plus two fifty in forty seconds. So this will be equals to X plus two fifty will be equals to six hundred. X will be equals to three fifty. You get the length of the train as. 350 now very simple so question was that find the time taken by train to pass an electric pole whenever train pass an electric pole the time taken time is distance upon speed distance traveled by train to cover an electric pole this distance will be equal to length of the train 350 speed of the train was 15 again answer is 70 by 3 next lesson i will continue with more on question on 
ट्रेन्स थैंक यू